Welcome to Valheim Secrets. Today, we're going to take a look at 10 secrets and hidden gems in Valheim. Some of these you may have come across, but the majority are nestled deep in the game's files and not that accessible. The majority of what I'm going to show you today can be spawned using the cheat commands or the creative mode options. Please see links in the description box for videos on those. Now let's get into it. Number 10. The Yule Tree and Yule Clap Well, it looks like Iron Gate have been preparing for seasonal events by introducing what looks like Christmas-themed items into the game. There was posts on Twitter and Steam in December regarding Yule in earlier announcements of Valheim, which included these items. The Yule Tree is purely cosmetic, but the Yule Claps are containers in which you can store varying amounts of items in. These can be spawned using the hammer while in the crater mode. Number 9. The Testing Cape This looks like an item which was used to test the cape physics. It doesn't have any stats or special abilities and its description is simply Da Cape. Honestly, it looks quite cool with the padded armor set as it makes you look like a Roman Imperial soldier. This can be spawned by using the command Spawn Cape Test. Number 8. The Deep North At the very northern peak of the map, there is an entire glacial biome similar to the mountain biome, except it has no mobs, minerals, or hidden surprises. Yet. Now it does have icebergs, which are destroyable, but yield no items. This is likely to be one of the upcoming zones. Number 7. Odin's Armor Set Odin has a cape, hood, and mead horn in the game. The item stats are all pretty poor, and seem to have no special abilities. The descriptions for all the items are Odin's finest warriors deserve the finest cloth or drinks, depending on the item that is. They all have one key thing about them though, and that is just above the stats it states DLC item, and if you try and equip it it says DLC required. So this is definitely going to be part of a Valheim DLC. If you are interested in seeing these though, you can spawn the items with the commands Spawn Cape Odin, Spawn Helmet Odin, and Spawn Tankard Odin. Number 6. The Ashlands Biome Now we've covered the Deep North, this time we'll cover the south of the map which contains the Ashland Biome. Unlike the Deep North, the Ashlands has creatures on it, as well as a mineable resource known as Flametal Ore. This can be smelted in the Blast Furnace into Flametal, but currently has no use. The creatures in the Ashlands are just Sirtlings and have no special abilities or extra drops. Number 5. Haldor Now, you may have already known about Haldor, who is a secret vendor in Valheim. He buys valuable items off you for gold, and you can use this gold to buy a variety of items off him, most notably Meganjord, which increases your carrying capacity by 50%, and the Dvrga Circlet, which is a perpetual light source. Number 4. The Frostner and the Iron Sledge As we've just covered Haldor, you can also obtain a unique resource off him called Ymir Flesh, which is used to craft these legendary weapons. Number 3. The Yule Hat Keeping with the topic of Haldor, you can also buy the Yule Hat of him, which can go with your Yule festivities when the time comes. I'm listing this separately to the rest of the Yule items, because this item is currently accessible within the game. Number 2. The Trailer Ship A very unique but incomplete looking ship. You can tell it's incomplete due to the lack of textures on the shields, which causes them to be completely transparent. You can't drive the ship and it looks like it'll be part of a future patch or DLC. My speculation is that it would have a larger carrying capacity than the longship as well as a place to get rested, sort of like a floating base. This can be spawned with the command Spawn Trailer Ship. And number one is the Mistlands. This is another incomplete biome but honestly, looks absolutely amazing. It's littered with huge trees and spider webs, and unless there's a change of plan, it looks like this biome could contain a new spider creature. 
There is currently fir and pine trees as standard which can be chopped down. There's also ancient bark but as far as I'm aware can't be interacted with. And that wraps up my list. As you can see, there seems to be a lot of room for new and exciting features in the future of Valheim. I'll cover all of these new and exciting features when I have more information on them, so stay tuned. If you found this video interesting, please hit that thumbs up, and if you're interested in any more of my Valheim content, please don't forget to subscribe.